In this video, I will show you how to deploy Mozilla Firefox browser using group policy. And I will show you two methods. One is when we assign the policy to computers and the computers install the software on startup. And second one will be when we assign the policy to users and users themselves can decide what software and when to install. And I'm starting this video from my GitHub page because I have few bits of information here. And here you will be able to find the download link for Mozilla Firefox that I will be using in this video. And if you're interested in my Windows Server setup or the settings that I use, you can find a video playlist here. So let's get started by going to Firefox download page. And here for the browser, we need to select Firefox. Uh, and for the installer, instead of Windows 64-bit, we need to select 64-bit MSI because that's the only file format that we can use with group policy. And also I will be using 64-bit, but you can use 32-bit or both. And for the language, I will leave it on default English United States and click download. Now let's go to our downloads folder. And now that we have our installation file, we need to move it to our server. So I will just copy it and then go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows server installations. And I will paste it on the desktop. And now we need to move it from the desktop into a network share because we cannot use local paths for software deployments. And I have a file server named SRV02 and it has a share named software and here I will create a folder I will call it Firefox and then I will move the MSI package there and the most important bit information here is that we need to have correct permissions in the folder uh, where we have our installation files so let's check them by right clicking here and going to properties and then going to security tab. And as you can see, in my case, I have authenticated users with uh, read permissions. And the name authenticated users are a bit misleading because authenticated users covers both users and computers. And that means that both computers and users have the rights to access this share and read the files that are inside of it. And if you're not using authenticated users, you, for example, can use domain users and domain computers. Just make sure that you are selecting the correct one for the deployment that you choose. And that's it for the permissions. If you want more details, you can watch my file server installation video. Okay, I'll close the window. And now we can go to the server manager and start creating our group policies so for that i will go to server manager click on tools and select group policy management next i will expand group policy objects and also i will right click on it and click new and the first policy that i will create will, i will call publish firefox and now let's right click on it and click edit and we will use this policy to publish software to users so the users can install the software themselves from the control panel. So in this case, we need to go to user configuration, expand policies, expand software settings and select software installation. Now let's right click on software installation, hover over new and select package. And here we need to make sure that we are selecting the installation package from a network path and not the local path. For example, if I go to my desktop and select the executable from here, the installation would fail because the clients don't have access to this uh, server's desktop folder. So once again, I will go to my file server by typing here the file server name, SRV02, click enter. Now we see the software share. Firefox folder that we created and I will select the MSI that's located here and here we'll leave it at publish and click OK and that's it for creating this group policy we can also right click on the package go to properties and make few changes if we want to 
for example we can go to deployment and change the user interface options from maximum to basic and that ensures that when installing software user will not get many options to change the default settings so i will leave it at basic and click apply and ok now we can close this window also let's select the policy that we created then go to details and let's disable uh, the computer configuration because currently this policy has only user side configurations on it and the only thing that's left is to link this policy to organization unit that holds our users in my case i have this organization unit that's called domain users so i will click and hold and then drag the policy to that organization unit and that's how we can link it and now let's go to one of my client computers and see if the software that we published is available to my users so first we need to open a command prompt and do a gp update I also have this icon here that allows me to go directly to the software installation menu so I will double click it and as you can see now we have Mozilla Firefox here and this user has no administrator uh, rights in this computer but because we published the software to him he can install the software from this menu so let's try to install I will double click on the software as you can see we are not getting any settings or changes that we can do and it seems that Firefox installed successfully and that's it for publishing software for users and now let's go and create another policy in this case we'll assign software to computers so that the software installs automatically on computer startup so for that let's go back to my domain controller and here we have our google policy objects and let's right click it and click on new and i will name it assign firefox and let's right click the newly created gpo and then click edit and in this case we are making policy that we will uh, apply on our computers so that's why we need to go to computer configuration policies software settings and then select in software installation then let's right click it and go to new and package and once again we need to select the installation file from our network path and let's double click it and here we can leave it a default uh, on assigned let's click ok and that's it we have created our policy we can close this window now we can also go to details and disable the user configuration this time because this policy currently has only computer configuration in it and also here in the bottom i will select 64-bit os uh, vmi filter because we don't want 64-bit uh, uh, packages trying to install on 32-bit operating s systems and vice versa and if you want to create vmi filters yourself i have a link to my youtube video in uh, the github page so the last step that we need to take is to link this policy to organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to install the software so for that once again i will click on the policy and hold and then drag it to the organization unit that is holding my computers see it's linked now and now let's go once more to our client computer and this is a different computer as you can see and this one uh, doesn't have firefox in it so let's open command prompt and do a gp update and as you can see it's saying that it detected a software installation and for that to happen that we need to uh, do a system reboot uh, so for that i will go to start and then power button and restart the, the virtual machine 
and let's see what happens and as you can see it is saying that it's installing mozilla firefox now we can log in back to the machine and as you can see we have our firefox browser installed and that's it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one